ओके इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन ऑइल टेस्टिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर यू कैन सी लास्ट वीडियो Uh, and uh, how we can perform breakdown strength of oil and how to measure breakdown voltage of oil that we have seen we have also tested one video i have shown and i we have taken the readings okay so now we will see because in uh, second year material science course you have seen how to find out breakdown strength of transform oil so observation table in last uh, session we did gap distance and breakdown voltage and with that observation table our objective is not only to find out the miss breakdown strength of the oil but our objective is to find out the transform oil breakdown voltage or equation equation breakdown voltage equation for transform oil so let us complete that task today so what is the observation table already i have given you the observations okay in last time we have seen uh, how flash occurs and how circuit breaker trip and then how um, miss uh, we can come to know that breakdown in oil has occurred you can see that last previous video so let us start now ahead of that how we can find out the constants of the equation okay so observation table we obtain just write down or if you have missed it last time you can just see observations gap distance we just use in mm unit of gap distance was in mm and breakdown voltage we we found out in kilo volt okay so our first reading uh, in that video you can see gap distance was 2 whereas breakdown voltage was 30 okay then gap distance slowly increase 2.2 2.2 then breakdown voltage was 40 okay and then third reading was 2.6 gap distance breakdown voltage was 48 and for the last reading gap distance was 2.8 where for that breakdown voltage was 55 kilo volt okay so now how to find out breakdown equation of transform oil i told you breakdown voltage v of oil is equal to k d raised to n this equation i have given you last time so this is breakdown equation means this breakdown voltage you can find out which will be equal to k gap distance d raised to n and where k and n are constants okay so where k and n are constants now if we want to find out breakdown voltage our job is to find out constant k and n no why we have to find out constant k and n if we will find out constant k and n then we can formulate breakdown equation and breakdown equation will be like that if you will see for example so if breakdown uh, voltage is means if breakdown voltage is not known now see here how i can increase the gap distance you know there is limitations of gap distance between the uh, electrode we cannot increase too much gap distance okay now i want breakdown voltage for 5 cm okay if i want breakdown voltage for 5 cm i cannot keep gap distance and practically it will be very high voltage risky safety concerns are there our uh, equipment uh, may not be of that rating but if i know this breakdown equation then i can say that 5 kilo volt the gap distance is 5 cm so i will just find out breakdown voltage will be k value i will be known and gap distance i will substitute 5 and n value i will be known and this is the analytically i will find out breakdown voltage so that is the objective so now let us find out constant k and n write down and you will do the calculations and you will share me in the chat box okay and this is now recorded so your chat box reflections will be recorded and then only i am going to mark you present for the your performance okay only attendance sheet will be only for physical uh, purpose but if there is a chat box reflection your calculations will be there that is also your individual no copy work then performance marks i will give because it is a continuous assessment high voltage engineering is having to mark marks so now take first observation 
usually we will take first observation and we will proceed further. So, what is the breakdown voltage? Just substitute values. Breakdown voltage is 30. 30 is equal to constant K. Gap distance is 2. Raised to red N. So, this is equation A or 1. And second equation, you will not consider second observation, but you will take third observation, okay? Because you have to take far away, uh, this, uh, means, uh, difference should be there in observations. If you will take uh, immediate, then less variations are there. So, your values will be different. So, it is usual practice that you will take alternating uh, readings and while uh, form, form, formatting equations or uh, before forming equations, you have to take care that all gap distance are in MF and all voltages are in kilovolt. Problems are also asked. So, you have to first make that all readings in equal units. Then third reading, gap uh, breakdown voltage is 48. So, 48 is equal to 2.2. Gap distance is now 2.2 raised to n. So, in the derivation, we have seen how we can solve these equations, okay. So, how to solve these equations? Equation 1 and 2, you have to divide equation 1 and 2 and then you have to see, okay. So, in yesterday's derivation, we have seen one aspect. What aspects we have seen? We have seen that, suppose this breakdown voltage equation is kilovolt. Kilo volt is equal to K D raised to A. Now take log on both sides. Right down. Taking log and both sides. So natural logarithm of kilo volts you take is equal to logarithm K D raised to N. Now you know log of product means addition. So it will be log K plus log D raised to N. So it will be write down all the steps okay yesterday we have seen in derivation also this concept so it will be n log d so log kilo volt is equal to log k plus n log d so this is a straight line equation you know equation of straight line is generally y is equal to mx plus c so if you will see the graph and if you will see the equation of straight line these are y coordinates and these are x coordinates. So, generally we say y is equal to mx plus c equation of straight line. And then you say the slope of a uh, straight line is m. You can find out slope of equation uh, straight line. And then the intercept on the y axis is c. So, this is also equation of a straight line. How? I can say that this is y and this is x. This is m x plus c. So, here I can say that slope of my graph will be n. Slope of the graph will be n. If I need to find out graphical values of the constant, then slope of my graph will be n. And what will be my constant? If you, you will see the intercept on y-axis, intercept on y-axis, intercept on y-axis will be c means it will be log k okay so e, this graph you will find out uh, generally we plot graph d versus breakdown versus graph distance you will plot on x axis and breakdown voltage you will plot on y axis so here this graph you will plot on log graph paper okay log paper you plot then it will be log and this will be log so this is log and then log d okay and then you will find out slope m and intercept. So, graphically also you need to find out and analytically also you, have, you need to find out. Okay. And analytically I have told you if you will find out two equations, just divide equation 1 by 2. In morning also we have seen, in the problem also we have seen. Uh, so, do the divisions, solve the two equations and find out n and then substitute value of n and then find out k. So, that is for the um, equation 1 and equation 3 or observation 1 and 3. So, that will be N1 and K1. Similarly, you take um, equation 2 or observation 2 and 4 and you find out N2 and K2 and then find out average. So, average K will be K1 plus K2 divided by 2. Okay. 
find out the average value of constant analytically and for this experiment i have given you the observation table you plot graph on log paper and then find out graphically m and n also i have made today experiment uh, write up you can refer that experiment write up and i have told you you just substitute value of observations do calculations plot graph on log paper find out value of k and n uh, analytically and also graphically and then your conclusion will be first conclusion will be if gap distance goes on increasing breakdown voltage goes on increasing second conclusion will be breakdown strength you can find out average uh, breakdown strength and third conclusion will be breakdown equation so you substitute value of k here and substitute value of n and then you write down breakdown equation which you have found out it's like this that is that will complete the experiment okay now do the calculations and then show me put uh, your reflections or your calculations in the chat box and we will see any problem if it is there or not. Do yourself. You have to do it yourself.